some very strange sights out there today. Golfers out on the links, motorcyclists still cruising around. A very atypical November. Yeah, it still feels more like maybe September weather or even not early October. Yeah. Here we are tomorrow and Friday pushing near record breaking warmth with upper 60s. You can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, I won't believe it. And you know what? <laughs> it's just going to hit us that much harder, however, this Saturday and Sunday when temperatures plunge oh, and we see and snow you're, flying. I was just going to say, you're going to say that word, aren't you? And yeah. you sure did. This, is our, this could easily be our first snow of the season. Uh, not a lot by any means. I don't want to freak out accumulation numbers. Right. But like even ending over a tenth of an inch, it's officially the first snow of the season. So, so we have a lot to talk about, especially with Silver Bells on Friday. Sounds like yeah, it. Yeah, we'll be there. Have a look at our temperatures now, though. It's still a very pleasant day, down to 40. 49 in Lansing. Temperatures were in the mid, some upper 50s today. Plenty of sunshine, right? Beautiful day, at least again for mid November. And uh, just a few thin clouds here and there. We're clearing out nicely. Mostly clear conditions, if not completely clear, the rest of our night and evening. Zooming out, similar scenario across most of the Great Lakes. A few clouds and rain showers up north, nothing significant. And I'm looking west, there's a nice little dry spot there. That's Thursday's forecast. We stay dry for about another day and a half, but by Friday evening, there's a system brewing out west. You can kind of see some unsettled rain and snow activity way, way out west. Still a bit disorganized, but look at this. It's easily going to be the first winter storm of the season for the northern plains. The blue color, winter storm watch. The yellow color, a blizzard watch. And uh, they've seen some snow in the plains so far this season, but nothing significant. This is this system causing trouble. Now, we're not going to see a lot of snow by any means, but it is going to be very cold, very Interesting weekend weather-wise. For one thing, very warm week for the next couple of days, and a very cold weekend. Cold and windy. Returning us to something a bit more November, right? Well, the rain and snow is going to be the highest impact. Some rain Friday evening could, in fact, likely will interfere with a little bit of our Silver Bell celebration. Then a snow or rain and snow mix throughout Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to be a little bit iffy about how much and you know just a couple degrees makes a big difference in that regard. But we're not there yet. We're seeing mostly clear skies tonight. Nice and clear, very pleasant conditions all the way through tomorrow. We have this nice south wind's going to be picking up. It's going to help our temperatures to rise up very quickly on top of plenty of sunshine. Thursday's looking beautiful all day long. If there's any one day to take advantage of this week, it's Thursday. Go outside and enjoy it. Friday is going to be a little bit different. Here we go. Thursday night, mostly clear skies once again. Friday morning, beautiful sunshine. The warm front passes and we get similarly warm, upper 60s Friday. But then the clouds move in. And then by 6 o'clock, here's the cold front. Could bring rain right through Lansing at the start of the parade for Silver Bells. And it may not last long. Here's the dry slot behind the cold front. Here's 8 p.m., 9, 10. It's already done. But then the temperatures plunge. It gets very windy. And we could see some snow or rain and snow mix late Friday night into Saturday and Sunday. And that's just something we'll be battling all weekend long. 68, 68, and then boom, low 40s to 30s all the way through the weekend. Very cold. 40 year low tonight, mostly clear skies. Tomorrow's high 68, near record warmth, mostly sunny, very warm, kind of breezy. Thursday night mild, it's 52 degrees, very pleasant weather there. Same for Friday, but Friday gets very windy. Friday evening, see some rain. And then Saturday and Sunday, both days, especially Saturday, we'll be dealing with a little bit of a rain and snow mix, if not actual snowfall. Mm. It's going to be very messy. There's a lot of uncertainties depending on temperatures, but be prepared. Just staying in the house. That's always the best Especially solution. Especially for Spartan fans heading to the MSU game. Oh, Saturday. yeah, that'll be a little rough. Bundle up, folks. Sounds like mm -hmm. you're going to need it. All right, Dustin, thank you.